What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with the Beginner Guitar Show for Rap Star by Polo G. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button and let me know down in the comments below what are the songs by Polo G that you want to learn on guitar. Guys, the first thing that you want to know to play Rap Star on guitar is that we're going to be in standard tuning and we will not need a capo for this song. The next thing that we usually go over is the structure of a song, but for Rap Star, we're going to repeat the same picking pattern through the whole entire song. So you don't need to worry about the structure for this one. And guys, the last thing that we would usually go over for a song is the chords, but again, for Rap Star, we just have one picking pattern that repeats through the whole song, so you don't need to worry about any chords for this one. And with all that in mind, guys, let's dive into Rap Star. Man, it has been a while since I've taught any rap on this channel. I used to do it quite a bit, and I've got a whole playlist full of rap songs that I will link up here so that you guys can check it out. But this is a really cool one, and it has some guitar in it. That riff that plays throughout the whole entire song is really fun to play, and it's actually more beginner-friendly than it sounds. So, first thing before we dive into this little picking pattern that repeats through the whole song, we got to make sure we know where we are on the fretboard. So, this entire picking pattern is going to pl take place between this fret right here, which is the 6th fret, and then this fret right here, which is the 11th fret. It's a little hard to tell on this guitar because this guitar doesn't have inlays like most guitars do, but your guitar will have inlays in between there at the 7th fret and the 9th fret. And that'll help you kind of keep your place, but remember, everything is going to be in between the 6th fret and the 11th fret for this picking pattern. And the other quick note before we dive into this song, I am actually going to be finger picking this song because I think that the muted sound of finger picking kind of lends itself a little better towards the original sound of the guitar that's being played in this song. Kind of has a better kind of matches up a little bit better with the sound there, but you can absolutely use a pick for this if you want to, if you're more comfortable using a pick, totally up to you, but I'm going to be finger picking it. So with those things in mind, let's dive into the picking pattern that repeats all the way through Rap Star. Now, this is going to look a little intimidating at first, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to break this up into three different sections. And again, remember, even if you're a beginner, this is the only thing that you need to know to play this song. This picking pattern repeats through the whole song. So learn each individual part, practice it slowly, put the whole thing together, work on speeding it up, and you'll get it down in no time, even if you're a beginner. So. First, let's take a look at this first shape. The first shape is gonna look like this. We're gonna have a ring finger on the eighth fret of the D string, and then we're gonna do this right here. We're gonna bar the sixth fret on the G and B strings together. And I know that might seem a little intimidating. I promise it's a little easier than it actually seems like it is. Barring just those two strings together on that fret is actually fairly beginner friendly because you're not trying to bar the whole chord. But if you actually want to play that a little differently, you can do it like this. You can play it like this. It will make another part in the future that we'll go over here in just a second a little more difficult if you play it like this with two fingers rather than barring it like that. But totally up to you. But that's what I'm doing here is I'm barring those two strings on sixth fret G and B. And then I've got a eighth fret on the D string. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick that eighth fret on the D string, the sixth fret on the G, sixth fret on the B, and then we're gonna go back up to eighth on the D, and then we're gonna go back to B sixth fret twice. There you go. And then back up to the D eighth fret. And then here's where it gets a little funky. We're gonna pick the B string sixth fret and we're gonna hammer it onto the seventh fret and then pull it back off all in one motion to the sixth fret. So like that. One more time. Just like that. And then we're gonna pick the sixth fret on the B string again after we do that hammer on pull off. And then G string sixth fret. And that's your first shape. And that is definitely the hardest part of this. So that's your hardest part. You're getting right out of the way first. And really it's not too terribly complicated. It's again, just about practicing it slow. So let's walk through that one more time. We're gonna go D string eighth fret, G string sixth fret, B string sixth fret, back to D string eighth fret, B string, 6th fret twice, D string, 8th fret, and then on the B string we have that hammer on, 6th hammer on to 7th, pull off to 6th, 6th B string, 6th G string. And that's your full first shape, and a little closer to full speed, it'll look about like that, closer to full speed. So that's your first section. Next section is gonna look like this. We're gonna to go to seventh fret on the B string, sixth fret on the high E string, and then we're gonna to go to ninth fret on the E string, the high E string, and then ninth fret on the B string. 
And you notice that I'm doing that same thing here where I'm barring those two strings, the ninth fret, two strings, those two bottom strings, ninth fret on the high E and the B. And the reason for that is because that actually is a pretty quick motion there. And I find that it's a little faster to get to if you just bar those two together. And it's actually a super easy bar because it's the two thinnest strings and it's all right there just in that one spot. So you can go and get there really fast. So I would recommend barring that, but if you don't want to bar that, what you can do instead is this. You can play the seventh fret B, sixth fret G, and then you can do these two fingers, your pinky and your ring finger, on the ninth fret of the E and the B. And it'll sound exactly the same, of course, but I think it's a little faster to get to that bar shape right there where you just bar those bottom two on the ninth fret. Totally up to you, personal preference, but I like to do this bar because it's a little faster. So that's your second shape, a little closer to full speed on that. That one's pretty quick. And then we're onto our last shape, our third shape here. And what we're gonna do for this one is we're gonna be way up here on the 11th fret. So you'll have a fret marker on your 12th fret of every guitar. For me, it's this little F right here, but every other guitar will have another fret marker there as well or an inlay. Um, for a lot of people, it'll be two dots, the one with two dots, but that'll kind of help you kind of gauge where you're at on the fretboard. So we're gonna have 11th fret on the D string, 10th fret on the G string, and 9th fret on the B string. So we're gonna pick 11th on the D, and then we're gonna go to 9th on the B, 10th on the G, 11th on the D, and then back to 10th on the G. Just like that. And that is gonna end our picking pattern there. And that's the whole thing right there, guys. So one more time real quick through that last part. 11th on the D, 9th on the B, 10th on the G, back to 11th on the D, and then back to 10th on the G. And closer to full speed. Just like that. And after that, we will go back to the very beginning and repeat that, and it will repeat through the whole entire song, start to finish. A lot of these songs like this, these kind of rap songs that have guitar samples in them, are actually exactly that. They'll take one guitar part, and they will sample it and repeat it through the whole entire song, and then the artist will actually rap over the guitar sample. And this is a great example of that. It can be really cool because it's also very beginner friendly because again, it's just one guitar part repeated through the whole song. So even if it's fairly complicated, you just repeat the same thing through the whole song. So makes it fairly repetitive. Once you got it down, you got the whole song down. So those are our three parts. Now let's put the whole thing together and do a little walkthrough of the whole thing together. We'll start with this first shape here. This is gonna be the eighth fret on the D and then the sixth on G and B. We're gonna do eighth on the D, sixth on G, sixth on B, back to eighth D, sixth on B twice, back to eighth on D, and then we're gonna have that sixth hammer on to seventh, pull off to sixth on the B, sixth on the B, and then sixth on the G. Onto our next shape, seventh on the B, sixth on the high E, ninth on the high E, ninth on the B. Then we're gonna go to our next shape, eleventh on the D, Ninth on the B, 10th on the G, 11th on the D, and then 10th on the G to take us out of the picking pattern. Just like that, repeated through the whole song, but obviously quite a bit quicker. So that's your whole picking pattern, guys. Again, not too crazy, crazy complicated, and it does repeat through the whole song, so once you got it, you've got it, you got the whole song. What I would recommend, again, is learning each of these individual parts slowly, putting them all together and practicing the whole thing together slowly and then work on building up your speed from there. Don't get frustrated with it if you don't have it down full speed right away because I even had to practice this quite a few times before I could play at full speed and honestly, it's still not 100%. So with that in mind, guys, I'm gonna do a very slow playthrough of this whole picking pattern a couple of times to make sure you guys have all the right stuff in all the right places. Now I'll play through it a couple of times full speed so you can match it up with the speed of the song. So slowly a couple times first through the picking pattern that's gonna repeat all the way through Rap Star will look about like this without me talking.
And finally guys, a couple of times full speed through the picking pattern that's gonna repeat all the way through Rap Star will look about like this without me talking. And guys, that is everything that she know to play Rap Star on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helped you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 850 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel, and I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there could not be a more perfect channel for you to check out. If you want to get a sneak peek of what songs I'm working on next, be sure to hit up my Instagram at the Groovy Guitar Dude. The link for that will be in the description below. And lastly, guys, if you want to support the channel and get your name in the credits at the end of each new guitar tutorial, you can hit up my Patreon at patreon.com slash the Groovy Guitar Dude. Link for that will be in the description below as well. Guys, I love teaching songs like this one because I don't think most people, whenever they're learning guitar, think to learn hip hop or rap songs, but I'm a huge fan of hip hop and rap. And so when I was first learning guitar, that's what I wanted to learn is songs from really all genres, but I was stoked to learn some hip hop songs because I'm like, nobody else is really playing this stuff. And this is a great example of a song that's, it's a rap song, obviously, but it has some really great guitar in there. It's got that cool little riff that repeats through the whole song. It's a lot of fun to play and it's fairly beginner friendly. And that's another thing that I love about songs like this, rap songs, is that they have those kind of repetitive samples of cool guitar parts that repeat through the whole thing and then the artist will rap over that part. And that's actually great for beginners because you can learn this maybe fairly complicated picking pattern like this song has, but then it just repeats through the whole song. So you don't have to learn anything else to learn the song. And as a beginner, you can learn a song like this that may have a little bit more of a complicated picking pattern, but it repeats through the whole song. So once you get this picking pattern down, it just repeats and you've got the whole song down. And I love that. And I also love that it seems like it's kind of becoming a more and more of a trend where songs, rap songs are starting to use guitar more. And it kind of comes in waves. like. I feel like five to seven years ago it was a thing and then it kind of faded out and then now it's starting to come back where more instrumentals like like guitar and even more drums and things like that are coming back into rap music and even pop music in general. And I love that and the song is an excellent example of that. So guys, I had a lot of fun learning this song. I hope you guys have a lot of fun learning as well and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all soon.